Good morning, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to turn this House's attention to a solemn and important occasion. Veterans Week begins tomorrow, running from November 5th to 11th, a time when all Canadians remember and honor the men and women who defended Canada and those who continued to serve today. From Vimy Ridge to Juno Beach, to Capion Korea, to peacekeeping missions of 70s, 80s, and 90s, the Balkan War to Afghanistan, our current efforts in the Middle East, all Canadians owe a debt of gratitude to our veterans. For all they have done and continue to do, we will remember them. We will also remember the ind indigenous men and women who have helped to define our proud military history for over 200 years. It is estimated that more than 1,200 served in the great conflicts of the 20th century, with at least 500 giving their lives. Indigenous veterans have served with honor and distinction overseas, and their dedication continues in peacekeeping operations far away lands. Today, more than 1,200 First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people serve with the Canadian Armed Forces, representing many diverse cultures from across Canada. All Canadians thank them as they continue to make our country proud through their service at home and abroad. This year marks a significant, mile, marks significant milestones in Canada's history, including the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Beaumont Hamel and the Battle of the Somme, two major campaigns of the First World War that resulted in tens of thousands of casualties. Next year will be special too, as we mark more significant milestones it will be the 150th, and, uh, 150th birthday of Canada, the 75th anniversary of the Dieppe Raid, and the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Passchendaele and the Battle of Vimy Ridge. The Battle of Vimy Ridge was an exceptionally important turning point for Canada. As Brigadier General A. E. Ross said, in those few minutes, I witnessed the birth of a nation. As much as the battle has become a symbolic in how it helps to forge the nation we have today, we must remember, we must never forget the cost. More than 10,000 Canadian soldiers were killed or wounded at Vimy Ridge. The selflessness, service, and sacrifice of Canadian men and women the diversity and passion of those who have fought for Canada and those who continue to serve today have allowed us to build this nation on our principles of peace, freedom, equality, and democracy. That is why government has committed to ensure that Canada's veterans and their families receive the respect, support, care, and economic opportunities they deserve. Veterans Affairs Canada serves nearly 200,000 veterans, Canadian Armed Forces men, members, RCMP personnel, and survivors. Over the past year, we have made great strides in improving services to veterans. With the opening of Veterans Affairs, Affairs Canada offices across the country, we hired 300 new frontline employees, investing $5.6 billion in additional financial benefits for veterans and their families. There is still important work to be done to improve the lives and economic opportunities for the veterans. And this government will continue to improve our services. We will, we will ensure that as many veterans as possible receive the support and opportunities necessary to rebuild their lives. Veterans Week is not the time for partisanship. Commemoration should transcend 
party lines as we express our shared gratitude for those who have served and continue to serve. Mr. Speaker, through Veterans Week, Canadians will come together at memorials and cenotaphs to honor those men and women who have served and who continue to serve our country. We remember their exceptional achievements, their sacrifice, the contribution they have made to Canada's legacy. Canadians also honor veterans and serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces through school initiatives and through social media using the hashtag RememberThem. Canada is a great country, Mr. Speaker, a prosperous country, a free country. Our veterans made it so. And our Canadian Armed Forces ensure it stays that way. I urge every member in, of this House, and indeed every single Canadian from coast to coast to coast, to join in remembering them, and especially to observe the two minutes of silence at 11 a.m. on the 11th day of the 11th month to honor the memory of all those who served, especially those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Remember them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.